guys! Okay, so today I will be doing a what's in my school bag plus a what's in my volleyball black bag because I play volleyball. Here is my school bag. It's the one that Meredith gave me. And actually, originally, I bought this backpack, which I think is so cute too. I got this from Charlotte Bruce and it was also from $26 to $20, so I got this. And I switch off between backpacks because I love this one a lot too because I just love the style of this, how it's all like slouchy and it has these really long shoulders. I love this one, so I switch off about every week or so. So this is so cute, it's like florally, flor floral, bleh. It's floral and um, it has like pink roses on it, obviously. And it has a front pocket and this pocket back here. And I'm gonna be showing you what's in the front pocket first. This um, green EOS, I think it's like honeysuckle. I don't really know the flavor, but it's green. So I keep that in there because, in, you know, your lips need to be moisturized. And now I also keep in here some tissues because I was recently sick and I still am a little sick, sick, sick. So I just keep a little tissues in it and it actually comes with a lot and it, I got this at CVS for 50 cents. Next I keep this and it looks like a coupon thingy and that's kind of what it is. but. It holds all my flashcards needed to study, and this helps me a lot instead of like putting. I, um, I used to like um, take my flashcards and uh, wrap them in rubber bands, and then I put them in my backpack. And like when I moved or when it moved, it always got like all out and it really went everywhere with different subjects everywhere. So then I had to organize it, and this is just way easier. And I got this at the one dollar section at Target. Yeah, and it was just a dollar. I think it was, or it was $3. I don't know why they put $3 stuff in the $1 section. I mean, it's a dollar section for a reason, Target. Well, this is kind of what it looks like inside. I just have in this pocket right here, you know, there's a smaller pocket and a bigger pocket. In the bigger pocket, I have um, my calculator and the directions to it, because I really don't know how to use it yet. And my book, that I'm reading right now. Okay, don't judge me for this, but the girl who was supposed to die. It's not that scary at all. I mean, it kind of is, I guess you could say, but it's a good book. Cause I've read all her books. The Night She Disappeared, Girl Stolen, and this is her newest one that came out in June. Um, and I got it for school, and it's actually really, really good. This polka dot one. And they really don't ask us to write in it a lot, and I always forget to write in it. I mean, I don't, because I did today. But it just looks like this inside, and it has, like, all the months right there. And it's, like, the tree, you know, that kind. And um, I suggest having a planet planner, because it gives you more organized. And actually, my school gave me one, but I didn't like it that much. So I was like, like waiting and waiting for this to come. I'm kind of get lazy at this, but I really should get better because having a planner really keeps you organized and stay on, staying on task and you know not miss your assignments. So we have my pencil case and it just says happy on it. And inside I just keep my Sento's marker, which I use every day in ELA. Um, we have to fix a sentence and I use these for the errors, like the, I use these because we have to do parts of speech. We have to label all the parts of speech, speech in the sentence. So I use these for the part, this for this part, part of speech, and this highlighter for um, fixing the errors, like the sentence errors. So I have the pink highlighter, green, orange, and come on, yellow. The yellow one. I gotta keep my nail filer in here. Um, I've actually broken my nail a few times at school, but I never like bothered to use this because we're in school, you can't be fixing your nails in school. I mean, unless your school lets you do that at my school, we can't. <laughs> but I keep that in there just in case. And then I have pencils in here, obviously. And I just have, I just put in two of every color. Come on, come on, come on. 
and they have erasers on them, but I don't like using the backs of my erasers, so I just keep an eraser, which I use a lot. And I have two extra ones at home. It came with a pack of three for $1.29. Here's the other one. So I have two of every color that it came with in here, and then my eraser. And the rest is just pens, which there's a lot. This isn't 20, I still have a bunch more of the browns, or the blue, dark blues and blacks, but um, I just put one blue and one black in here, and the rest are on my desk right there. Yes, for my binder, it's plain old right right now because my binder used to be this, and it's so cute, and it has polka dots inside, but it broke. And I tried to hot glue it. See all the little ugliness. And it broke again. So I'm gonna have to throw this away. But it was so cute. And I had to throw it away. So right now it's just plain old. Here's my binder. It's just a regular one inch binder. It's just a regular one inch binder. And um, it barely fits all my stuff. I can't even put my notebook in here because the spines are too big. Uh, first on the side I have my post-it notes right here and these are little refills for my highlighter and once the post-its on the post-it tabs come out and that's all I keep on the side because I don't really keep in my papers. Keep my papers. You just saw my notebook was falling out. Alright, next I have this ruler and it like can attach to your binder. So it has a three, um, three ring holes, and it came with one of my old binders. So I think I got one of my old binders like, in, like three years ago. So I can't tell you where to get it right now. And next, I have um, this like, I don't know what you want to call it, but it's this clear paper folder thingy. Uh, I don't really know what it is. Like, it's clear and it has, it's like a pocket, I guess, and it has three ring holes. Well, I put my paper in it because um, when I get my paper, I don't really feel like opening the rings. And so um, I don't want to, when I, I used to like rip it out of my binder. And I don't like doing that because it gives tears in the, um, in the papers, obviously. So I don't really like doing that. So I put it in that. And it's really helpful, actually. Next, I just have my homework, and I put it in the same kind of folder. Next, I have my dividers. And I just did first, second, third, fourth, fifth period instead of doing math, science, history, social studies, whatever you want to call it. And then I have my folder, and this was supposed to go, um, I think it's polka dot. It was supposed to go with my other binder, but it broke. But this is so cool because it's like, okay. <laughs> It's like three folders, so I use this as my health folder, and yeah, it's really cool. And it gives a lot more storage. And next, all right, so this is pretty cool. If you have a composition book and you need to like carry it around, what you do is you take another one of these clear thingies and you just put it in there and it's like, stays in your binder and it's really useful. Oh, come on, stay. And then next I just have a folder for my elective which is business. Oh guys, I forgot to show you guys, but this is my journal that is actually in my binder that I took out. And it's a three subject. And my first subject in here, can you guess, can you guess? Oh, no you can't right now. Can you guess? Yeah, I bet you can guess that. Math, that's my first subject in here. Okay, and then my second subject in here is business, which I don't write a lot in here. That's all I wrote in this one. And my last one is social studies, aka history. Just got. Oh, don't mind that. <laughs> And that's what's in this. I think I should decorate it a little bit more. I don't know. This is my ELA journal. <laughs> it is five, no, it's a five subject notebook and we have a section for 
each um, subject that's supposed to be in it. Um, I'm not going to read to you the sections, but we have like our morning routine, and then we have like our reading section and our vocab literary section, and it's a whole five subject notebook dedicated to ELA. Um, it's just to make us more organized and like instead of doing a binder with five tabs she did a notebook which I actually thought that was kind of cool but I mean if we run out of space in one of the sections that's not gonna be good how are we gonna do that and the last thing in here is my backpack organizer I really have no idea what to use this for I was gonna use it for homework but I can't carry this around all day and if I carry it wow. and if I carry it around during classes then I don't know, it's just going to be too big for me. So I really have no idea what to use this for. So if you guys have any ideas on what I can use this for, can you, you know, help me leave a comment below? That would be nice because I really want to know what I can use this for. And I keep hitting myself with it. Okay. So that is all for my what's in my backpack. And now I'm going to show you guys what's in my volleyball bag. So here is my volleyball bag, and it said it says the name of my old volleyball club, so I'm not going to show that. But it just has a volleyball on it, and it says Mizuno, which is probably the brand. So first, um, on the side, I just keep a volleyball, or I don't keep a volleyball there. Whoa, you guys can't even see my... Um, it just had, it's probably because of this backpack. See, like, if I put it down, you can see. You can't. All right, you guys are just going to have to deal with it. Sorry. So I just have this water bottle and it's empty right now. Inside the small little pocket right here, we have socks, extra socks, in case um, I forgot mine. I don't know how I forget it, but you know. Now inside the bigger pocket, we have my knee pads because you can't go to volleyball without knee pads. So I have my knee pads. And then, if I'm not already wearing them, I have my tennis shoes. Yeah. And then, and like sometimes they have volleyballs there, but you know, you can't go to volleyball practice without a volleyball. That is it for my what's in my school bag plus what's in my volleyball bag. And I hope you enjoy, and please leave video suggestions down below because I love hearing what you guys want to see and what you guys want in this channel to help it grow and to help you guys like stay subscribed because you know nobody likes unsubscribers right? and yeah bye yeah that's fine all right so first on the side, <laughs> I can't even do this. So, I'm gonna take that out for right now. And now, next, I have this ruler. And it's like a ruler that attaches into. Next, I have. Sorry. Come on, open up, open up. Next, I have this ruler, and it's like. Whoops. I used to like wrap my rubber bands and put them in like a wrap my rubber band. That didn't make any sense.